At Pink Caddy Garage, we love our power tools, specifically our air tools. But one thing about it is, if your air compressor is not running, and this one isn't, then none of this stuff's gonna work either. So we're gonna do a quick video about what you can do to get your air compressor going again, and one of the common causes of why your air compressor won't function. Now before you start tearing into your compressor, you're gonna to wanna to check the basics, which is make sure you actually have power at the wall where it's plugged in, uh, that you don't have a trip circuit breaker or something like that. Check your power cord, make sure you don't have any breaks or frays that may be keeping power from coming in. You're gonna to wanna to check your on off switch just to be sure it's functional and everything's plugged in and the switch itself is good. Uh, typically, if you've got all that, and as long as this motor itself is good, then when you turn it on, it should kick on and fill up. And this compressor, it's really old. It's about 30 years old. And it's been great, but it's not doing that. Sometimes it won't turn on at all. Other times it'll come on for a second or two, and then it'll trip the circuit breaker, and then occasionally it'll run just fine. So very sporadic. Let's try it and see what we get this time. <laughs> yeah, trip the circuit breaker. Let's go. So typically that makes me think it's gonna be one of these two items on top of this electric motor. These are your capacitors. And uh, it's got a short one and a long one. One is your start capacitor, which basically gives it a jolt of power to get this motor spinning up to speed. And then it hands off to your run capacitor, which will help keep enough power going to the motor to keep it running until it fills up on the cycle. So let's show you how to get these off right quick and how we can test them. And it's really easy to replace them. So since this is 30 years old, I went ahead and ordered two new ones. And we're gonna go ahead and put those in before we're all done here. So since we're dealing with electricity, you wanna be sure that you are unplugged. But since we are messing with capacitors, that is no guarantee that you're not gonna get shocked because they store the electricity. So we're gonna slip a couple of these set screws out of here that hold these covers on. And we will take the power out of these things. Let's just, just do the run capacitor right now since that's the one I suspect is bad. Now in most air compressors, these are held into these little black covers with uh, just tension. There's no screws or anything that I usually see in these. You just wanna kinda work that out. And then, if it is holding a charge, you wanna just short across the two terminals for a few seconds and that will pull the charge out and then it is safe to handle your capacitor. And we're gonna test this capacitor right quick and see if it really is bad. To test our capacitors, we just need to get a multimeter that set it to the ohm setting. I think I got it on about 20 or 200,000. Doesn't really matter. You're just gonna to wanna to see the, what the change is. So we've got a value of one right now we're gonna put it on there. If this is a functional capacitor, it should be pulling power out of the nine volt battery in the multimeter at least and changing that number, but we got nothing. Let's try our, our new one here. See if we get anything. Yeah, that's what you wanna see. So let's put this capacitor in and see how our compressor does now. Installing the new capacitor is just going to be a matter of putting your wires back on. So this one's got a black insulator around the terminal. So that is where our black wires, I'm assuming, should go. And then we'll put our power wire on. Get your little cover. Slip it in. Make sure you're not touching anything metal to metal in there. Shouldn't be if you've got your terminals on correctly. and bolt it back on. All right, we've got everything back together and we went ahead and replaced both of the capacitors here. This is what the old ones look like. This black one is your start capacitor, holds a lot of power for a very short amount of time. And then the silver one is your run capacitor that we looked at a minute ago. And that's what keeps it running. So let's see how we're doing. <laughs> that's what you want. Now let's go get some tools and cut something. Thanks for watching.